Over the net. Over the net. Toss it up over the net. How you like them apples? Had uh, another BP day. Trying to get one done in the middle of the day. Not at 9 p.m. at night. So it's just me and Miz, a little two person BP. Today we're just going to work on barrel and we're going to try to hit balls like under 15 feet in the air and just like hard line drives. Our focus today is not really a part of the field. It's just making sure we hit sweet spot every time and our launch angle needs to be just on a line. So trying not to bury it in the ground, but at the same time not pop it up, just hitting barrel through line drives. Really, we're going with pitch and um, that's kind of what we're going to work on today. Going to get warmed up. Hit it with the nation once again. <laughs> All right, so it's a pretty good idea anytime you're doing any kind of physical stuff. I don't know how old you are or whatever, but to get warmed up. Um, if you've been playing softball for a while, injury is like one of the biggest things that can be the most Number frustrating one. part of, of playing a sport as you get older. So, I mean, I've been through foot problems, hip problems, groin problems, uh, lower back problems, everything. I had shoulder surgery. Um, so just taking the time to kind of get warm uh, and stretched out a little bit before you just go out there and full hack will go a long way. What I like to do is start off with a heavy stick. You know, it can be this, which is like an achieve ultimate distance, boom stick. Uh, there's lightning rods. There's uh, the original jimmer stick. Jimmer stick. Um, but really, it's just a heavy stick. Ooh, trying to get your hands going. I like to get my wrist pumped up with a lot of blood like that and just work on like my kind of my fast twitch from from when I start my swing is usually there so try to do it with a heavy bat okay then you can go to a real bat and it feels amazing and this because it feels amazing doesn't mean that you have to like first swing 100% oh. adapt to it. I take the first 10 or 15 and ease into it. Again, we're just working on sweet spot. I think this pop is finally opening up. About time. <laughs> it's got to be closer to 200 swings. 200 swings now. There's webbing all over it. But I mean, that was off the tee. Hit the hit the wall on the fly. Watch his upper body. He extends his arms back and get separation and just is able to move all of that straight through the ball and here's how it looks like from this side you see his feet The ball's pretty much in the middle of his stance right now, so he's pushing. And what you don't want to do is like coil backwards, like you're trying to overswing. So it's the separation between his front leg and his back shoulder. He's not planting his feet and twisting. So keep your feet still and then just like twist your body backwards yeah so that's he's not just twisting backwards and then going forwards it's a combination of it's more separation because when you watch his front knee goes forward as his as his elbow goes back and that creates the dinger okay 
that creates the separation in the power. So you don't want to just twist your body. Okay, it's about the separation. So the front arm gets straightened as the hips are opening up. What's going on? I'm pushing myself with my back foot toward the ball. And that's creating me go over. So show it with your hands. So in a real game, what you're doing is you're catching the ball too far out in front, not letting it get, get yes. to you. But this is a tee, so you would just scoot up to find that right spot. But yes. slow motion, when you swing, what's happening is um, it's too far out in front, so your back wrist is having to rotate over. Yeah. And that's why he's hitting the ball under the ground. So analyze whenever you start doing something. There you go. There you went. Keep jamming the ball under the ground. You might be going too far out in front with your hands to get it. Let the ball get to you a little more. There you go. And there you go. Again, today we're in placing the ball. We're just hitting the sweet spot of the bat. Line drive. Everywhere. Going with the East and Alpha to start off with. Go swing. So the first thing right off the bat I noticed is I have to focus twice as hard on the ball because it's the spot on the ball that I'm hitting. So I'm really, really, really watching the bat hit the ball. And you should always, but Don't force it. This bat's almost too hot. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell in the sound. <laughs> I'm going to switch it up to the Venom. Alpha seems game ready. Um, it was at about 250 when I tested it last, so not, not trying to break a bat in BP. It's not necessary. I got other bats to use, so. This is tough. What? To hit just, just straight line drives. There we go. You can do it. It's up on your head. Just normally you're like aiming for a gap or something. Right. You're never really just trying to hit. Because you focus on the uh, uh, how to how control the ball. You won't control the ball. Hit it in that direction hard on just a line. Whatever the ball is. Just center the ball. Just hit the ball center. That's it. There you go. Yeah, that. I mean, that was. Just center thing. the ball. Don't worry about the ball goes. There we go. And it was about pitch. Yeah, but you see how I went down to its level. Instead of yep. hitting like that, I went down. Because you want to center. Yeah. So KP actually kind of taught me that one, like to go down to the level of the ball instead of like trying to fish it up. Or Now, obviously, if it's a bad pitch, don't swing at it. But right. if you're going to swing at it. Bye-bye. Is that it? Same mentality, just square the ball. There we go, Cole. There we go. Ah, see, I didn't go down to that it. one. Check it off. Oh. There we go. I gotta lay that. I gotta lay off that. Golly. So what I'm noticing, granted, the balls are hard. They do fly, but when you're trying to hit dead center of the ball and trying to hit line drives, I mean, not really a shocker, but your misses are a lot better hits. <laughs> so 
this can kind of show you how much you don't really watch the ball hit the bat sometimes yeah. and you just go through the motion because a lot of a lot of times people oh you caught the ball or you're stronger no it's how much you watch the ball and how much you square the ball if you hit the ball square every single time trust me something gonna happen yeah That's it with this one. Now, something that helped me keep eye on the ball is a uh, old drill that I used to do back in the days that when you hit the ball, just leave your face right there. Basically contact, hit it, fit it right here. Just leave your face right there. Something that helped me is I watch the ball in the pitcher's hand. Like I don't, I don't just like look up at the pitcher in that general direction. Like when I'm really focused, I'm actually looking at it in his hand. I mean, even when he's faking, you have to know to have that calmness about you, but I'm just watching that ball in his hand. So I track it the whole way. Know what we want. Oh. Like I get everything over there. Why am I getting everything over there? Going out, going out and getting it. Yep. There we go. Even the sound was different when I wake. Something that you gotta keep on mind. There we go. Now we're on game. Sit. <laughs> Stayed in, technically. <laughs> there we go. It's not what we want. We want that one right there. There it is. Two more. I'll give you that. Now what are you gonna do? Ball. Now what are you gonna do? Ball. What are you gonna do now? Ball. What are you gonna do now, Cole? Woo, that's a double. No, you can only whistle when you hit a home run. That's the rule. Oh, that's the case? For easy then. <laughs> one for one. Okay. One for one. You either walk or you hit a home run. Everything else is an out. I'm going to hit a home run. Everything else is an out. I'm going to get you with the spinner here. Go ahead. Oh, no. Oh, no. Well, we got some sad news. <laughs> we broke the microphone. So, no awesome sound quality for the rest of this video. We've gotten through most of it though. Yeah. So, any any final thoughts, Ms? I'm sorry. No, no, no. I'll even throw you another another ball, but. So, in short, Watch the ball, you idiots. That's what I tell myself when I have a bad hit. The three W's of batting. This is Hitting Nation's three W's of batting. This is very simple. It's the first thing that I created back when I was just starting out softball. And they're in order. Wait, watch, and whack. Whenever the pitcher throws it, the ball is at the top of the arc. After it releases from his hand, I say wait in my head. 
It helps me to stay back before I even worry about where the ball is. If it's a strike or a ball, if I'm waiting, I can tell, oh, that's a bad pitch. I'm like, man. Second one is watch. Watch it hit the bat. Watch it hit the bat. Watch it hit the bat. Okay. And then the third one is whack. Swing hard. All right. Don't, don't swing timidly. Don't, don't swing to like place it. Or if you have an area of the field that you think you're going to go, you watch it hit that bat and then hit it hard. Swing away. Miz. Miz is sad right now. Hey man, it's just a microphone. Yeah. We'll replace it. I'll get it in the day. There Amazon, baby. Listen, because 100% right. Just have you guys see me struggle the first couple, first couple, because I was anticipating. I want to take the ball where I want to hit it, but I wasn't watching it. I wasn't waiting on it, right? So wait on the ball, watch the ball, hit the ball. My old coach used to say, see ball, hit ball. So, it's that simple. It's that simple. Sometimes. It's that simple sometimes. See All right, thanks for tuning in to Hitting with the Nation. We are out. This is a short one today. Uh, tune in for the next one. We'll probably have a whole group again. All right. Until next time, golly. Look at the moon. Okay, we have to record the last home run that the broken mic ruined. So, Cole versus Miz. He has one hit. If he doesn't hit a home run, everything else is an out. He's a loser. I'm a winner. So, I'm going to go with a batting glove. Right no now. gloves? I'm going to beat him. I'm going to be the judge in this. Just a reminder, who's the loser, who's the winner? Yeah, he took took about five pitches. Just hey, if you try to hit it out, make sure it's your pitch. Don't worry about what he throws or what anybody throws. Your pitch, you take it. All right. I guess I'm buying your uh, your sub hub today. Yay! <laughs>